I, I, can, I cannot yeah. cheer against this guy anymore. It's, it's, it's hard to it. JDCR, you're my friend. <laughs> oh man, he's he's absolutely right. You know, he he was telling me as well that it's one of the things that his that he loves the most. He's been able to travel around the world and see so many things and meet so many people. And he's been shown love everywhere he's gone. Yeah. I think, of course. That's the great part. You know, I wouldn't say it just for him. I think the community as a whole, you know, yeah. we've grown so much over the past few years since Tekken 7 has launched. Yeah. And, you know, we get to see players from all over the world, you know, whether it's through the streams, it's yeah. in person at events. And it's just been such a great feeling knowing that this community has grown in such a way yeah. that we have, you know, hundreds of thousands of people watching, thousands of people entering tournaments. Yeah, those, those barriers that existed before, they do not exist anymore, you know. We're seeing yeah. Americans travel to Europe, Europe, America, and Asia, wherever. We're, it's truly, truly global. It's a global event, it's a global game. But not only that, I see Seriously, more and more other communities off. from other fighting games enjoying and watching Tekken as well. And if yeah. you guys are watching right now, and I know that you are, yeah. I invite yeah. you guys to actually play the game. It's fun. You guys can learn something. And you know, Tekken's not going to go away. We're going to be here for a long time. It's going to keep growing, baby. It's definitely going to keep growing. So get your hands on that Tekken 7 and get grinding. But here we go. we got Tishumon versus JDCR. And you know what? I've seen this matchup a couple times, and it was Dragonlord versus Raven, and yep. JDCR looked very, very strong versus Raven. Ooh. Not only that. And hey, that's a rare character. That yeah. is a very rare character. It wasn't only just uh, Tishimon. He's, he's used Dragon Lord versus others, very top Round Ravens, and one. beaten them very bad. So let's see what's going to happen here. Yeah. yeah, we'll see how it plays out in the matchup so far right now. JDCR going back to Dragonov. Yep, this is the character which gave him so many wins in that first season of the World Tour. Oh, yeah. It made him, I mean, he was seemingly, last year, he was seemingly unstoppable in the early part of the tour. Yeah, for sure. All right, here we go. Starting it off again. Nice. Goes for the foot sweep, the Razor. Yep. And that down two poke that you're seeing is very, very good because it has amazing tracking. You can't really step into either side. And in, for a low poke, it has amazing damage as well. Yeah. Round so we're seeing him use that a lot because it will stop you from stepping. Yeah. And on and counter, it gives you a lot of, a lot of uh, damage in the frames. Yeah. And the best thing about it, I think, it complements his moveset. Every other move that he has that he can use as other options, whether it's a mid uh, or a yeah. throw, that down two helps it out in such a big way. For sure. But a counter hit here coming from Tishimon with the wild standing two. Trying to get the wall splat, doesn't quite get it. Buki Rock's coming oh, in effect. Oh man, nice back turn, back turn cancel into some extra damage. He's gonna get a side wall stun here maybe? Yeah, unfortunate. Wow. We're going ring around the rosy right now. Oh, the hesitation. JDCR didn't go for a bigger punish there. Doesn't yep. matter. He has the wall positioning. This is big. Down two again. Oh, the step there. He was ready. <laughs> nice. What you gonna do? Better not be blue. <laughs> Answering back now. Even out. Nice. Wall he won. Straight off the bat. Catching JDCR. Hey, hey. Oh, this is big. He's gonna get the extra damage here for the full extension. Look at that, Mark. Look at that damage. Oh, and he's trying to keep him there. He almost put him into a bad blender there. Did not commit to the full damage, but here we go. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's looking. JDCR, don't look at it. Yep. Don't he's get caught in the vortex. Just, just enforce those mix up seven golden letters here. Tishimon. Yeah, Tishimon suffering a loss early on, but now trying to get back on the scoreboard. Trying to get something, and that's important because right now JDCR does have a 1 0 advantage in the pool. Yep, and uh, Tishimon needs this. He really needs this, or he's also gonna be put in a bad position, just like Naroma. Yes. Okay. Nice. Using them pokes. Yeah. Not gonna do too much damage. Use a little bit, probably a little bit too much hit. Gets a clean wall start this time. Good nice. punishment damage. Oh. Gets the knockdown as well. Yep. Look at the pokes there from Digimon. This is his specialty, that in close game. Oh, is that gonna no. hit? Oh no. no, it didn't hit. He was able to evade. Oh no, no, no that's not what no he wanted. Punish. Plus frames. And again! Oh my god! Tishimon missing out on the launch and JDCR taking that opportunity. Man, this is looking really good actually for both players, man. Yeah. These guys are both playing out of their mind. It's uh, a bit unexpected, you know. I didn't think Tishimon would be this aggressive. Yeah. Oh no. But here we go. Back to the wall. He's gonna have to be careful. Okay. Again. Oh, he caught him with that one. Uh-huh. This would be very bad position one. He was so close to winning. The command low parry? Oh. Now what? He's gonna have to do something. He does have rage. Oh Goes my god. Goes the mid and Shimon. Tishimon taking the first match. You had to have confidence to pull out that move right there at that moment. Yeah. He knew that there was an opening, a gap in between. He knew JDCR would move in offensively and he was able to land that mid. -game. Well, let's go back to let's go back to what Tishimon said when he was choosing his pool. He said, he saw JDCR and he thought, he said, I want that pool. I want my revenge. So he has been definitely studying yep. this. 
and waiting for this opportunity to get his revenge on JDCR. You gotta think about it. You might want to eliminate your demons even in pool play and how before you get to the finals, right? How much confidence is that gonna give you moving on? The biggest boost, right? You're yeah. able to exercise your demons. You're able to bypass the guy that held you down last time. Yeah. That's a surefire way to get into a bigger, better spot. This is way more than just a pool match here for Tishimon right now, as you see on screen. He wants this win. Here we go, second match. Yeah. No change from JDCR, though. And again, this is big. If Tishuman is not able to, to do this, yeah. he's pre he might be done. He might be done. That's very true. He's already down one match. He needs this win for sure. All right. I hope your affairs are in order. Master Raven versus Round Dragonov. One. Here we go. Precipice of Fate. Fight. Yeah. Yep. Let's go. Uh, uh, and Tishuman still continuing the offensive flow, not afraid to get in his face and go for those mix-ups. Yep, good punish there from JDCR. Down two. That's that low poke we were talking about. Really good tracking. Nice, JDCR able to put the brakes on. Here we go, pushing towards the wall. Yep. Oh, oh the command bro. The one break did not break it there. Yeah. Just and one. again, Ma Master Raven, one of those characters that has like almost a complete arsenal of throws. Yep, a very complete character, I feel. There we go. Okay. Season two combos. Uh, hey. Nice damage there, close to 50% off. Yep. Oh, it really? Yeah, surfing on him. There we go. I like what I'm seeing here from Tishuman again. Uncontested. That's the second time he's landed the command grab. This is so unlike uh, JDCI. Normally very good at breaking throws. Nice punish there, though. Down two again. One more to do it. The whip on the rage drive. And JDCI taking the first round. Well, he still has the spacing. He was able to evade that, able to get the punish. But man, look yep. at that. JDC are tying it up, but it feels like Tishuman was at the huge advantage just because of how his offense was working. Yeah, but he's definitely not let up though. A nice corner cycle forward four. Oh, he gets the wall, but he drops a little bit too early. Able to slump and avoid extra damage. Here comes JDCR. Yep. This is a good position for him as well. That down back two mid poking used a lot. Nice low parry. JDCR's going to get a full combo here. Nice adjustment here, using that new stuff. Oh gosh, look at that wall carry as well. Good block, great punish there from Tishuman. Yep. And oh, the spinner Rooney. That's that does gonna a lot be of damage. It. He was ready. He knew he was gonna sidestep, he was gonna move. He was able to hit him and clip him, and that's it. Look at that, Tishuman, one round away. Yep. Oh, but big, big damage coming from JDCR. He is not going down without fight. This is crazy, because Tishuman had a, a beatdown of a loss in versus his last opponent in Joey Fury, and he's coming back so hard against JDCR. Exactly. Definitely not discouraged. He knows he has a job to do here, and this is the opponent he wanted. Oh, this yeah. is the reason why he's in this group. No punish on the down 4 2 launcher. Hulking oh, away. This is really good right now for Tishuman. Yep. But JDCR with the big up forward 4. The follow up, what's he gonna do? Down Gets two. the low. Access to rage, uh, rage drive now. Oh, oh he, he got goes him. to the mid. Oh. Alright, what kind of mix up are we gonna see? He got oh, him. He there got it him. Is. Tishuman pops off as well. He got his revenge from last year. The opponent which eliminated him from the from last year's second World Tour Finals, he gets his revenge. This is crazy. This is gonna make the race in Pool C even tighter because there's wins going back and forth amongst all these players. We might have another one of those situations. It couldn't have gone any other way. Sure, looking at that group, it couldn't have gone any oh, other way. Oh man.